and the thousands of pounds and was big man among the eventualists. So they were not only the man, the eventualists, they didn't protect and who care of the thousands, they were not pedantic, not clever, not scientist. Okay. But for you were credit, you were credit, nobody could love Krishna extending. There is no compulsion of the method of working which was adopted by the Samson's approach. Unlike that position. No bargain by Bhagavad Gita has been done. A big man has been done. Great Navata, great scientists, great Hindu, Manakir, Manishan, these are Pandarya. And what we mean is when one is devoid of all material concepts, Pandarya, Sita, Suna, Suna means when one makes zero, all this material is there. Gyanat, Ramanana, Abhita. Uh, even uncovered by the resultant action of philosophical speculation and fluidity activity. Everyone is working to take some religion that is called fluidity activity. So, a pure devotee has no such desire. He has no energy. and Krishna Shivalam, their only desire is how to please Krishna. That can be done by everyone. If you want. Somebody says, say, say, say for example, if you want to please me, it does not require high education or great amount of riches or knowledge and beauty. Really, it is your business how to love me, how to please me, that is no. So if we want to love Krishna, Krishna is a Krishna. Krishna is within you. Who do you have to decide that we shall love Krishna? Very much. That everything is there. Ara vita nila nis tarusava sakkin. Nara vita nila nis tarusava sakkin. The king one is use. What is the use of? That is king. So, the Shastra says that if we have learned how to love Krishna, then when do you have these books? There is no use. The Lama is saying all these things, particular, actually, developed their love for Krishna. And after reading all these books, we will have this science, we cannot love Krishna, they are very good. Good. You know this. If you do not love, do not develop your love for God or Krishna, then what is the use of your fellow writing and scientific knowledge? It is all good. And if you actually have learned how to love Krishna or God, then there is a need of philosophy of science and book. So therefore the next point is how to develop. Chaitanya Mahapur recommends this. Primaat Mahatma Maha. Our greatest success of life is how to love God Krishna. Now we can do it. But there is a kind of thought given by great Acharya, just like in this temple we are doing. And the time we need, and they will be used there, but they will be so quick that they are taking so much and are preparing food and offering it and wasting time. They think they are going to go to some club and enjoy wine and playing cards. We do not try to get them, but when we are not wasting, but this is a wasting time. They are 
good with things. And then, and then, and God and God, if people are sitting nicely in a temple and talking about Krishna, telling Krishna, they will love. They love. So we have to become care to all these criticisms. So we have to go on with our duty. Krishna comes to pleasure. Yeah. 
right over in the rest. And so therefore, there are three whatever God is beside Vishnu, the Buddha of Vishnu, and the universe cannot develop. And the first creature is Brahma. From the level of the Buddha of Vishnu, the Buddha of Vishnu, they grow. <coughs> and upon that, the Dharma is the first priest. So, the first priest is the most intelligent person. And there, God is very good at the end. Because he is very Power by our material activity. 
the it has to be uncovered. And when you come to that stage, wanting without any paraphernalia, here we try to love Krishna to show me paraphernalia. You must have a nice tempo, nice dress, and anything very terrible, then we have some spiritual ecstasy love. We have to create the groundwork. That's why I'm doing that. There is no necessity on groundwork. Even if you want to remember some Krishna, you uh, can just say that. So, that is the highest perfection of love, conscious. Uh, without any external influence. Now, we are teaching the Western values. <coughs> Why do we have a spiritual master? Uh, our spiritual master has been the famous person. Very legal, thinking. Practice. Just like in India, formerly, uh, the boys and girls are dying. At very early age. So, I was on my very early age. My wife was only three minutes. So, I have had my mother in law was my first seven years old. And my father in law was three minutes. So, his marriage was performed, but it is not that the husband and wife do to it. Unless the mature, grown up. So there is a system to deny to without do missing uh it should not be in India, but the husband and wife uh, the wife, by the elderly members, uh, for us, let's just take this booster uh, to win your element. So she can offer it to the booster point. Uh, in this case, the energy is developed. Uh, the relationship, learning in this relationship. But actually, when that love is mature, there is no need of interest. In the beginning, it is bad. So, devotional service is divided into two portions. Guru, Guru Marga, Radhama. Guru means by his calling the name of the Guru. According to the Shastra, according to the order of the spiritual master. Then, when it is, when you develop, the Lord is, uh, automatically one of the answers to that Krishna. How I can not like this, how I can not like Krishna, how I can not like Krishna. There is no question of order. So now we are going to tell you to assume transcendental means about this song. So, our Krishna concept of means, we have to include the attachment of Krishna to the perfectionist spirit, then there is no more order, no authority.
So we all may have heard Prabhupada speaking. Jai Shri Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Shri Vayan Gai Jaisi Bhakti Vidhananta Swami Shri Prabhupada Ki. Jai. Do you have any questions? What Prabhupada spoke? Are you going to push that? Yes. Then how Prabhupada loved Krishna? That's a good question. We can't look, we can't look into Prabhupada's mind, but Prabhupada explained there's two things. One is a regulative process, rules, regulations, how you have to follow, and the other is spontaneous love, where you just love Krishna. So he said, you don't have to teach someone how to eat. Eating is natural. So loving Krishna ultimately is very natural. But just so you know, when Prabhupada came here, he was sitting on that seat in 1975, and someone asked Prabhupada the question. He said, Prabhupada, what, what pleases you the most? Everyone wants to know how to please Prabhupada. So Prabhupada looked at all the devotees, just like all of you, and he said, just like you said here, that you love Krishna. Prabhupada was more interested that you love Krishna because he already loved Krishna. He already had love for Krishna. And the proof is, he always talked about Krishna. So if you want to love Krishna, think about him, talk about him, and chant his name. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. But remember, what pleased Prabhupada is that you love Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna. Thank you. Anybody else? Any questions? Okay. So we'd like to really, on the of Wisconsin, Atlanta, we'd like to really thank Balabhadra Prabhu, one of the senior Prabhupada disciples here in Atlanta. So let's give a round of applause for Balabhadra Prabhu. He's the one who started this Super Saturday for Srila Prabhupada. So the whole community of Metro Atlanta knows Srila Prabhupada, who Srila Prabhupada, and what achievement he have achieved for the world, for the people. And this, especially this Super Saturday, the first Saturday of the month, is dedicated to Srila Prabhupada. So we offer Guru Puja. You also you come here and learn how to worship spiritual master and how to hear for a bona fide spiritual master. Because right now we are all hearing something about somebody every day. But to hear about the topics of Krishna for a bona fide spiritual master, now what happens if you hear from the bona fide spiritual master? Now all the unwanted material desires which is rooted in our heart from time immemorial, they will be nullified. Then be so and, and the resolute devotional service will take place within us. So Prabhupada, when he was speaking, he was speaking about Raga Marga and also he was speaking about Bidhi Marga. Bidhi Marga means where you do devotional service when you tell, somebody tells you to do it. Or the spiritual master guides you, then you do it. Or you follow the Shastric rules and regulations, then you do devotional service. And that is called Bidhi Marga. Uh, just like we come morning time Mangala at 4 30, we do Guru Puja, we have class. So these are all regulated devotional service. But the same thing, if you do it spontaneously for loving Krishna, then it becomes a Ragatmika Bhakti. Prabhu uh, Goswami says in the lecture devotion that there are different types of bhaktis are there. There are Karma Mishra Bhakti, there is Gyanu Mishra Bhakti, and then there is Shuddha Bhakti. Uh, so, Karma Mishra Bhakti, when you do Bhakti to Krishna, out of some material desires, uh, you have many material desires, you see some good sky, you think, okay, let's, let's respect God. When you drink water, you respect God. When you see the sun and the moon, you respect God. Oh, this is God's creation. Uh, and then you do some, out of obligation, you do some seva. Uh, this is called uh, Karma Mishra Bhakti. Uh, then, the Gyanamishra Bhakti means that you are looking for Gyan, Gyan knowledge, 
Um, that is also nice that you come for jnana to Krishna, that's good. But better than that, that only to Shuddha Bhakti. Shuddha Bhakti means no alteration, uh, no motivation. Everything is done for the satisfaction of the Lord. That is called Shuddha Bhakti. A pure devotional service. And that's what Prabhupada taught us. How to perform devotional service to Krishna. And devotional service begins with what? Hearing and chanting the glories of Krishna. So this is a very nice lecture that Prabhupada gave us. So please keep coming every Super Saturday. Then we have a Sunday feast tomorrow also. You can come also tomorrow. And if you have free time, please come. And chant Hare Krishna, the devotees. Hear about Krishna among the devotees. This way you will feel the jubilation, you will feel the happiness. And right now the happiness we have, that is coming from the material enjoyment. But there is a superior happiness which comes from the devotional service to Krishna. And the best devotional service to Krishna is hearing and chanting the glories of Krishna in this age. So it's very nice that Prabhupada gave us such a beautiful lecture. Jai Shri Prabhupada Ki So we have a few announcements for all of you. And you can pencil those dates in a calendar or in a notebook. We have many festivals coming up within another few days and maybe a month or two. So, and today also we have a very nice devote who sponsored the Super Saturday. His name is Benud Hari Prabhu and family. And they have sponsored Super Saturday. They are actually seeking the blessings of all the Vaishnavas because he got a new job. So he's asking the blessing for all the devotees. And he has sponsored nice prasada for all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas. So let's give a big Hari Bol for this wonderful devotee for his family. Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Hari Bol! And now you can, you can raise your hand and one time you chant Hare Krishna for him. Hare Krishna! Hare Krishna! Krishna! We have a Gold Purnima festival is coming up on 23rd, 24th of March. Actual festival is 24th of March, 2024. And this year, we are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Gornita deities. These deities that you see in the middle, Gold, Anga, Nityananda. On the right, there is Goranga Mahaprabhu, and on the left, there is Nityananda Prabhu. So those deities were established by Gaurita by Srila Prabhupada 50 years ago. And so we'll be celebrating 50th anniversary. So we'll have a two days program. Saturday we'll have Kirtan. And then there will be also Adivas ceremony in the evening. And then next day we'll have, during the daytime, we'll have Gaurakatha from 12.45 to 1.30. And then there'll be Mahakirtan. There'll be Mahakirtan by the local community here. And then it will be there'll be Obishek at 4 p.m. And it will go on until 7 p.m. There will be Maha Abhishek with the Sarana Kamal Abhishek. It's called Sarana Kamal Abhishek. And so we, we will prepare with a special couch which kind for Vrindavan. And I don't have it right now, but I will just show you, but we don't have it right now. But we will bathe within the cover there will be lotus flower called Sarana Kamal. And you can bathe Goranga Mahapama Nitanam. So this is a specialty of this festival. And you can hear so much about the glories of Chaitanya and Nithyananda Prabhu. And we'll have also different proper disciples also. They'll speak about the glories of the deities also on those days. So you can come on those days also. And then, on the 6th of March, we have Ekadashi Kirtan. It's only Wednesday. Coming Wednesday, we have Ekadashi Kirtan. It's called Fasting from Vijaya Ekadashi. Who knows what is Ekadashi? Okay. So if you're not aware of Akadashi, Akadashi falls every 15 months, 15 days of the month. Uh, so there's a two Akadashi every, every two, every one month. And these Akadashi, then they come Sukla Paksha and Krishna Paksha. They come in two Paksha, they come two Akadashi. So those two Akadashi requires devotees to fast from grains and beans. Means you cannot take chapati. You can take wheat, bread and all that. But if there are so many other things that you can eat foods, you can cook vegetables like cabbage, cauliflower, plantain. You can make something and you can eat all those. But we 
highly recommend that you should not eat rice, dal, sabji on Akadashi. Mm. And don't eat also chapati. Sometimes people think, if I don't eat rice, but I can eat chapati. But still you break Akadashi. Yeah. So request that. Uh, and then in the evening, from here, in the temple we have Kirtan from 6 o'clock. From 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. will be Maha Kirtan. And then 8 p.m. there will be Maha Prasad for everyone. So please join us on 6 March uh, for Akadashi Kirtan. And then we have April 19th and 20th and 21st we have we have International Kirtan Mela. Kirtan Mela is a very big festival. So Lakshman Prabhu and a few other devotees, they will be organizing this very beautiful Kirtan Mela. There will be devotees coming from different parts of the world. And we'll have a very nice, beautiful kirtan for three days, uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's April 19th, 20th, and 21st. It's called the International Kirtan Mela. Um, I, mean, so, I think some of you have joined before also. So many, many devotees will be coming here to kirtan from different parts of the world. And we'll be serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Both three times you can have prasad. It's just come here, chant, dance. And take Maha Prasad. We don't have to do nothing in the home for last three days. Just come here, take Prasad, and chant with us. So this is a three-day program. Uh, and this way, uh, this is the specialty of this Kirtan festival, three days. And then in the last, we like to thank Lakam Prabhu and family to cook wonderful feast for today. And also Kamananda Prabhu and family to, they also cook. Uh, and also Dula Prabhu and their family also they cook. So let's give a round of applause for this wonderful day. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So again, once again, I'd like to thank you all for coming for this wonderful Super Saturday, which is dedicated to Shri Prabhupada. Hare Krishna. Thank you. And in the last, I would say, if you get some time, try to attend Mangalarti. In the temple, we have Mangalarti every day from 4.30 a.m. Mangalat starts. Suppose if you have some free time or if you have taken holidays for a few days and you have nothing much to do, then you take enough sleep in the home and then you come in the morning and offer a Mangalat to Krishna. You will see that that day when you offer Mangalat, I know some of you do that in the home, but if you can come to the temple and offer a Mangalat to Radha Mother Mohan, that will be great. And you will feel that so much change is there. Hare Krishna.